What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to the third Scarlet and Violet VGC video. Uh, today, what I'm actually doing is I'm gonna be counting down my top five worst Pokemon in Scarlet and Violet for VGC. It's gonna be exclusively all the new Pokemon. Like, I'm not gonna go and like look at Bayonet and be like, oh yeah, Bayonet's bad in VGC because it's been bad in VGC since Gen 4. Like, you're not gonna see any results with it for the most part. Uh, but I'm not alone. Today, uh, I'm joined by your favorite VGC YouTubers, favorite VGC YouTuber, Neil VGC. That's like three VGCs in one sentence, but yeah, uh, go ahead and say hi. Hello, I'm Neil. We're here to talk about bad Pokemon. Yeah, and Neil and I are um, both notorious uh, sauce dealers. We make uh, we make sauce teams for the most part. So I, like if, if we have an opinion on a Pokemon that's negative, it, it's, it's saying something about the Pokemon, if we're being real. Like in 2020, I was the Thievil guy. I made Thievil work, and now I've uh, I've been hired by the uh, by the uh, uh, oh, great oh, nation oh. of Paldea to be the uh, the Don Ductor on the Don Dozo hype train. And yeah, so like, listen, if I can't make it work, it's not happening. That's not to say I won't try. But by the end of the generation, dude, you're gonna be the only person on that train. Oh no, for sure. Like, everyone keeps saying like, Don Doza loses to this, Don Doza loses to that. To which I literally just like have like the most stone face response of, that's because you're bad at the game with no elaboration. <laughs> I refuse to elaborate. But yeah, uh, let's. I guess let's just go ahead and get into, uh, get into it. Uh, as always, leave a like in the video if you enjoy, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications because I bring you daily competitive VGC content. And of course, subscribe to Neil VGC. He's up and coming, he's growing like crazy. Uh, and his channel is gonna be linked down below. Uh, and also, I think there's like a new YouTube tag feature. I might just tag you in the title as well. So you can just click on that. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, yeah uh, you do want to just alternate our, our points. Like you'll introduce number five and then like I'll jump in at some point to talk about. It. It's going to be more like a free discussion. Like you'll hear us like just giving our like raw thoughts on these Pokemon. But we, we do have a top five list. So uh, you want to yeah. introduce number five? Yeah, I'm down. Uh, number five is Claude Sire. I think that's how you pronounce it, right? Yeah. I have it wrong. Because he's a yeah. Claude. That's literally yeah. <laughs> he's, so he's a hunk Sire of mud. Is, yeah, so VGC is like more of an aggressive format and Clodsar can just go for like toxic recover kind of stall, but outside of that, it doesn't do any damage. So it's pretty much like counterproductive. And a lot of teams have started to run Taunt to deal with stuff like Garganical. And that kind of just makes Clodsar like even worse. It does have water absorb, so you can like kind of kind of heal it up. If that Storm Drain, it could have been better because you could have just like, like, click water moves into it and like get all the boosts and then do a lot of damage while still being bulky but it's physical defense isn't the best either so you're kind of just have like a pokemon that doesn't do anything but also doesn't really die yeah and like the physical defense being bad is also like a point against it when it comes to beating garganical because garganical is like such a heavy setup pokemon like it wants to go for um what is it, it like for one it's immune to toxic uh because of uh that ability whatever it's called purifying salt uh but also because it goes for like iron defense body press 99 percent of games your 60 defense like even at like maxed out like if a garganical gets set up in front of you and you have to haze you're gonna go after it and you're gonna have to eat an entire body press at plus six so like you don't even beat the thing that you like on paper should beat uh water absorb is nice though like I, I guess like being able to switch in on like don dozo and haze is like the one little niche that it has but like even then like if it's set up at like plus two plus three from uh, order it's up earthquakes. yeah like you're oh yeah and if yeah like every don dozo runs earthquake to to have like a better situation in that 2v1 so you're losing to that uh as well like there just isn't yeah. like a situation where like claude sire like i, I don't know claude sire is like one of those slow pokemon but like it gets outclassed as like a slow ground type that can like wall things out by gastrodon uh amoongus is arguably like in the same category but like it's like way above this guy because it's putting things to sleep it has way more support tools but like as far as like anti-setup pokemon like claude sire is like literally digging at the bottom of the barrel yeah dude it literally does nothing <sighs> like can you even think of like one thing that it actually does I guess it can sweep someone under low ladder, but like in high ladder, there's no way this thing's ever winning. Yeah, I mean, it, it gets like some good to like that's that's just like a testament to it. if this thing had better defenses or at least like in offensive stat, um, because by the way, I think you're better off running Earth Power than like Earthquake on this thing, despite the fact it has 45 special attack because you're going to yeah. get intimidated and you just want to make sure. Earth, but that's all like yeah. even after two verses, you're still not doing as much damage as like a Trastal Ground Guard Trump. Yeah, and I mean... It doesn't even have bad moves. That's the thing. Like it has every move it needs. It just is like it has bad stats. Somehow, yeah. one thirty HP, one hundred special defense is like bad. 
I don't know how they did it, but yeah, I, I, Claude Sire, number, number five. Uh, number four, I have a lot of people talking to me about this one and I have to like, it, it, I don't know. It's, it's number four because it's like usable, but it's going to be so hard to get any value out of it. Like it's, it's not worth using in most, in most situations. Uh, it's going to be Bramblegast. Now, Bramblegast is a new Pokemon in Gen 9. It is a ghost and grass type, so it has that nice fake out immunity. Um, and two decently offensive types, like they cover a good amount of things. You're hitting water types, ground types, ghost types. Uh, ghost hits like most things for neutral. And it has this ability called Wind Rider, where if you're under Tailwind or Tailwind begins or you get hit by a wind move, uh, you get plus one attack. So set up Tailwind next to it. This thing is plus one attack. It effectively gets a uh, choice band boost on all of its moves. Uh, and if you get hit by Hurricane, Heat Wave, Icy Wind, you're completely immune to all of those moves and you get plus one attack off of them. So this thing, unironically, is a Tornadus wall somehow, but Tornadus isn't in the game, so it's not going to find a niche anytime soon. I think the biggest thing against this guy is that even though it has like that plus one on wind moves, uh, it's Intimidate food and guess what its best ghost move is? I think like nothing. Like Shadow Sneak? Phantom Force, yeah. Phantom, Phantom Force. Force. So you have to like tear a ghost to like actually have access to your good ghost moves. Because you're not using Shadow Ball. AD special yeah, attack, like it, that's not worth it. Like, I, yeah. I don't know. Like in a restricted format, do you think this could do anything? Like when you're There's facing like Kyogre has... Tornados? Yeah, it has a chance versus them because you can like life for a Shadow Sneak Calyrex Ghost. The thing about the thing about like all most of the Pokemon on this list is that Generation 9 did a good job of actually releasing Pokemon that are viable. So all these Pokemon do have like some sort of use, but it's like super difficult to use. Also, Power Whip, um, we were talking about this earlier, but you need Power Whip over Seed Bomb to KO opposing Kyogre if it does come back in terms of that niche. So it's actually not that useful in that matchup either, because Kyogre can just run super bulky after it adapts. Yeah, I, honestly, like, it's a ghost type, so I was kind of hoping it would have Will-O-Wisp, even though it's a grass type. I feel like if it had Will-O-Wisp, it would have at least a little bit of a niche, being, like, a Will-O-Wisp and grass type, but yeah. it doesn't get There's that. There's one that's broken. Uh, what is it? At the moment. What is it? Does it get Guillotine right now? Or, like, a Noko move? Wait, does it? No, it no. doesn't get Noko move, but one... <sighs> No, we were talking about Cloth before the video started and Cloth gets an Oko move. I don't even want to tell my subscribers about that bug because I don't want to have to deal with it on the ladder, man. Dude, imagine, imagine the entire early ladder is just whoever can win this beat tie. Oh, no. All right, let's not dive into that. I don't want to tell the viewers about that. Okay, all right. Uh, Bramble Gas, number four. Uh, you got number three? Number three is Squawkabilly. Now, Squawkabilly makes sense it could be good because it has intimidate but if we look at its stats even if it gets an intimidate off it's still getting ko'd to almost everything and that's okay if it had good offensive stats but like when your attack and special attack like your when your attack and speed are both under 100 like speed is fine you can just put a speed boosting nature and like get around that but when you have 92 attack you kind of want to go adamant just to like take advantage of trastal flying and like just choice span but you can't even do that and it can't even live like strong priority moves as well like, I don't think Dragonite even needs Choice Band for, like, Terrestrial Normal E Speed to pick up. Like, it's that fragile. Yeah, like, you can pair with screens, like, Yeah, like, you can pair with screens, but it's still getting knocked out to everything. And, like, it's, a, it's like, it has Intimidate, but that's pretty much it. Taunt is nice, though. You, I guess you can, like, stop Garganical, so if you want to play it that way, but... This Pokemon just completely unusable. Yeah, like in it has two forms. If it didn't know, like, and no one would know because this Pokemon sucks that bad. Uh, but if you're using Squawkabilly, uh, let me hold on. Let me pull it up because like the the two forms are literally the exact same except for one fact. It's the uh, the white and the yellow one have Sheer Force as their other ability, and even in like a fully offensive Sheer Force set, like Life Orb Sheer Force, right? What yeah, moves do you have to take advantage of that? Yeah. Uh, like, Brave Bird doesn't get boosted. If Brave Bird got boosted, I think you could, like, make some sort of argument for it, but yeah. it's not, like, not possible. I mean, I'm trying to even think about it. It gets Parting Shot. I mean, like, it. it that's a, this is another case of, like, good moves, bad Pokemon. Like, it, if you're going to put Intimidate on a Pokemon, especially, like, a flying normal type, Staraptor's in the game, right? Like, and don't get me wrong, Staraptor isn't the best, like, intimidating Pokemon ever. Like, we have, like, Arcanine, we have um, Gyarados, like, those, we have Salamence, like, your, your options are not, like, super, super barren. Like, you have a lot of things that you could run over this guy. But, yeah. like, if you like, insist on running better. it, if you really insist, 
it'd probably be like Sash, Intimidate, U-Turn, Braver, Taunt. Like that's, that's like the yeah. one thing it's got going for it. Um, I guess you can drop U-Turn for Parting Shot at that point. Yeah, actually, I forgot it gets Parting Shot. That's kind of cool. Yeah. I mean, get ready for Bird and Cineroar. Trust me, it, it exists. Like that, that's a thing. It's it's bad. No, it's just bad. I can see the thumbnail. Leftovers, Substitute, Protect, New Incineroar. Oh my, dude, Incina, Incina 4. I haven't dropped Incina 4 yet. If you're new to the channel, uh, my various Incineroars in Generation 8 will be something you should definitely look into. I'm considering making a playlist of like just the first time I use Incineroar, and then Incineroar 2, and then Incineroar 3. So I need to, I need to eventually uh, release that. But yeah, uh, Squawkabilly, very bad. Do not recommend. Uh, number two, this one, this one makes me sad. Wug Trio's number two. All they had to do, Neil, all they had to do, Neil, was give the Marina Trap, but no, they gave it Rattled, Gooey, and Sand Veil. How do you mess no, up this bad? It trap, but it doesn't trap. Yeah, man. And like, what, what's its move pool? It has like Liquidation, but it also has like a new move called Triple Dive, which it just hits three times and it's 95% accurate. So it's like 90 base power, which I, it's it's marginally stronger than Liquidation, but Liquidation is 100% accurate and has a chance to like lower defense. You wouldn't even run that. Like there's no like reason to do that. Uh, yeah, it gets the only, Aqua Jet. Yeah, the only thing Triple Dive gives you is if you trust the water in your Choice Scarf, you can probably knock out Focus Sash Flutter Main, but like they can intimidate set up screens as well. So it's still hard. Wait, wait, are you telling me that you think that this guy can knock out Flutter Main? With Choice Scarf and trust the water. Nah. Adamant. Nah, if you get intimidated once, because Fluttermane Arcanine's like a big thing right now. If you get intimidated once, you're done. You're not you're not KOing yeah. that thing. Uh, yeah, you it, have to position this so well. It's just like it's mediocre in almost every single sense, except for the fact that it's like fast. Uh and and the, the one thing that this thing I don't know, like regional forms or like paradox not paradox forms, what is this called? A uh convergent evolution, convergent evolution. Whatever the Something gimmick is when it comes to like remaking an old Pokemon they should at least be stronger than like the gen 1 counterpart because it was gen 1 but when regieleki comes back doug trio is like you know way it, better it's way better like even like in every single context as like a physical attacker like are their stats identical let me think what their stats are literally identical like there's no difference between them except one's a ground type with like a good ability and one's a water type with a bad ability yeah all right this That's one's like making me sad Imagine clicking Chilling Water and still getting KO'd. Oh yeah, wait, I found the niche. It's uh, it's Mud Shot Speed Control. Found it. Oh, does it get like Sand Attack? I guess you can... It does get Sand <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no, let's not do this. All right, I don't want to give the viewers ideas. All right, uh, you want to take number one? Yeah, dude, we're going to bring Sand Attack to Terry Run. Oh my God. <laughs> All right, uh, number one is Spide Offs. If you guys have uh, watched Jamie Boyd's guide on this, it was literally 10 seconds and it was literally like, don't use this. Yeah. It does nothing. Like, bulk, not good. Speed, not good. If it was maybe like five speed, you can maybe use it versus Torkoal, like with Trastle Ground and like Choice Band, but you don't have that. It gets like sticky webs, but you don't really use that in VGC. Like, there's literally nothing. Silk Trap, I guess that's okay. But, yeah, like... it's, it's, um, it's if the ability GUI was a protect. Yeah. It's if you could protect and activate GUI. It's like a new, it's it's like that. It's like King Shield, Spiky Shield, like that sort of thing, but like at lower speed if you make contact. Uh, in, oh my God, this is what hurts the most. Like, Tarantula. If you look at Tarantula, I would literally use this with Eviolite over Spide Ops every single day, not because of the stats, but because for one, it's not ugly. <laughs> like it's, agreed, agreed. It's, dude, it's, I like, yeah. I ran this in the game and I was like, okay, do I want to catch it? Cause it looked nice. And I checked the final of all form. I was like, yeah, I'm not playing with this through the game. Yeah. And he's, he's a special op spider. He even has like a bulletproof vest. How is it like, how are you going to make him have seven, like 79 attack? And his highest status is defense in 92, which isn't that high when you consider the 60 HP and the fact that he's a bug type. Why would you do this? The only thing you could get going is if you have stakeout, they switch out, and then you go for first impression and you're like choice span to trust the old bug. Are you telling me someone's going to switch out defensively on a spide ops? Hey, it's the, um, let's see, let's see, overthinking, overthinking. Yeah, like, oh, what if it's, what if it's choice band, terror blast, and I'm a scissor and it's going to go for a fire move? Yeah, let me switch out into like a dark type or whatever, and then you like get, yeah, and then you actually get a KO. Uh, yeah, we'll this... This Pokemon's bad. Speed, I mean, the speed control is kind of cool. You have String Shot. Like, not a lot of Pokemon actually get that, but String Shot's a really nice speed control. 
Do you remember the blip bug? Yeah, I remember blip when bug. Pepsi used it. Is that still? Is it in the game? No, it's not in it. Pepsi well, used blip bug to qualify for Players Cup because he like tweeted out and then Wolfie replied back and it got the most likes. Yeah, dude. Honestly, anything with string shots viable, you could totally use spy ops if we're being real. But like overall, if we're just looking at it as like a Pokemon. This is the worst one of the generation. How are you gonna give it like a Ledian stats in generation nine? Like, I d hold on, let me point something out. Like as far as like non uh, legendary Pokemon go, like just straight up like regular Pokemon, these two are in the same game and the same category of Pokemon. They're just nothing special. <laughs> yeah, one's like 650, the other one's... Um... What is this thing's base stat total? Hold on, let's just get, let's just get mad. 404. Wait, let's let's go down to the 404 base stat category. Let's see what's down there. Uh, oh, hold on. I didn't organize. BST. Actually, I feel like it's better if I organize in reverse. I'll get there quicker. Yep. All right. 404 Pokemon. This thing has the same base stat total as... Da, 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 da. Mid, mid Pokemon, like middle evolutions. Yeah. Like a left Pachirisu. How are you going to have lower base stats than Karkle? and Fracture, and Pupitar, and Quaxwa. Quaxwa has more points than this guy, and they're that's better it. distributed. Crocolore, that's the real play. Okay, that's gonna be our list. <laughs> that you have was any, fun. Yeah, you have any, you have any notes on, on these? Uh, five, hold on, actually Crocolore's not on this list. He's top tier. Uh, you have any notes on the, on the five Pokemon? Uh, I think, like, if you want to use all of them, you definitely could do something with them, because, like, I think, gen like, again, Generation 9 was good with introducing Pokemon that, like, can be used somehow, but, like, they're not going to be nearly as good as, like, even some of the middle stage Pokemon. Yeah, I, I think the one thing that we did well in this video is we at least gave you, we, we at least gave you a move set for each one, you know? Yeah. Maybe you guys can do something. In fact, if you guys do something, tweet at me and Neil. Give us a rental team. We'll use it. We, we don't have anything better to do. <laughs> sorry i'm sorry to throw you under the bus neil but yeah uh if you guys enjoyed leave a like subscribe as, as always check out neil's channel it's gonna be linked down below and probably also tagged in the title uh but yeah uh anything you want to say to the viewers mm, not much have a good day yep this have, was fun. have a nice one guys bye